Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Microsoft Whiteboard, two popular tools in the world of digital collaboration. I'll cover their features, user experience, integrations, pricing, and more. So by the end, you'll know exactly which one is a better fit for your team. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Miro, check out the link that I've added in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free just for using my link. Now let's get started. First off, let's talk about what these two platforms actually do. Miro is a powerful online whiteboard platform designed for brainstorming, workshops, product planning, and team collaboration. It gives you an infinite canvas where you can map out anything from sticky notes and flow charts to complex product roadmaps all in real time. Now on the other hand, Microsoft Whiteboard is part of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem and offers a simpler, more straightforward experience. It's made for quick whiteboard sessions, brainstorming, and meetings, especially for teams already using Microsoft Teams or Office tools. While both are built for collaboration, Miro leans into advanced features and flexibility while Microsoft Whiteboard shines with simplicity and deep Microsoft integration. Now let's dive into features. Miro packs a massive library of templates, advanced diagramming tools, timers, voting, mind maps, and integrations with tools like Slack, Jira, and Asana. It's designed to handle everything from small team meetings to large scale design sprints. Microsoft Whiteboard, on the other hand, keeps things much simpler. It offers sticky notes, freehand drawing, basic shapes and templates, but its strength lies in seamless integration with Microsoft Teams and OneNote. You can easily pull up a whiteboard during a Teams meeting, co-author with colleagues, and save everything to your Microsoft account. So if you want more complex tools, Miro leads. But if you're after a straightforward companion to your Microsoft apps, Whiteboard delivers. Next up is the user experience. Miro's interface looks great and has a ton of options, but that also means it can take some time to figure things out, especially if you're new. Once you get the hang of it though, it's a creative and collaborative space. Microsoft Whiteboard, much simpler. If you're using Whiteboard in Teams or on a Surface device, it is super easy to use right away. It's quick, lightweight, and simple, but it doesn't have as many features. When it comes to integrations, Miro comes out ahead. It works with more than 100 tools like Jira, Trello, Google Drive, and Slack, which really makes it great for teams using different tools to get their work done. Microsoft Whiteboard really just sticks to the Microsoft ecosystem. It works well with Teams, Outlook, and OneNote. So choosing between them depends on whether your team uses Microsoft exclusively or a mix of platforms. Now let's talk about pricing. Miro has a free plan, a starter plan at $8 per member per month, business at $16 per member per month, and enterprise comes with custom pricing. Microsoft Whiteboard is included with most Microsoft 365 plans. If you already have Microsoft 365, you probably get Whiteboard without any extra cost, making it a budget-friendly option. So which one should you choose? Well, if you need a robust feature-packed whiteboarding tool that works across many platforms, Miro is a fantastic choice. But if you want something simple, fast, and already included with your Microsoft setup, Microsoft Whiteboard is the obvious pick. It all comes down to how deep you want to go and which ecosystem your team already lives in. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.